My name is Joe Humans. I'm the executive director and founder of Behind the Book. We started Behind the Book in 2003 as a visiting author program. Our mission was to get kids in low-income New York City public schools excited about reading. We work in schools where at least 75% of the kids are eligible for free lunch, which is the poverty line. At the end of the first year, we knew that our programming model worked. We knew we were getting kids excited about reading. The guiding principle for our work was in the match we made between the author, the kids, and the book. The kids were really thinking critically about what they were reading. They were asking interesting questions of the authors. That's when we realized that our goals were bigger than excitement. We really felt that we could engage kids in reading and all that that encompasses. So at that point, we decided to change our mission from getting kids excited about reading to engaging students in the process of reading. Engagement in reading is more than just the pleasure that we all take from reading a book. It involves critical thinking, thoughtful discussion, self-expression, and confidence. In almost every classroom, kids were asking the authors how they could become published authors. And across the board, regardless of who the author was, they always said you have to read a lot and you have to write a lot. In fact, you have to write every single day. It seemed like a natural progression for us to add a writing component to our program. And when you think about reading engagement, writing is definitely a part of reading engagement. Beyond being a necessary skill, writing is an indicator and really a driver of reading engagement. So now all our programs culminate in a writing project. We also added writing journals and volunteer writing mentors who come into the classroom to support the writing projects. Our programs have become cyclical in nature. First the kids receive a book, then they meet the author and talk with the author, and then they create their own book. So at the beginning of the program, they usually think the authors are rock stars. They get very, very excited when the author comes into the classroom for the first time. And then by the end of the program, they see themselves as rock stars. That's pretty cool. You know, like we have the author come in, keeps us inspired to go after our dreams and do something one day. So well, something about reading the book and then meeting the author just makes everything, just brings you like like some sort of peace of mind. When we take these authors and these books into schools, the end result, or at least the hoped for end result, is that these kids realize that they have possibilities for their future and that there are things that they can do that nobody's told them that they could do. I think that's the biggest gift we can give them.